Boardwalk Hall at the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey. Remember what we talked about. And we are underway for this scheduled 12-rounder. Big Train's punch didn't come close. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Big Train. What about the mental approach of a power puncher like we see here tonight, Teddy? Do they get discouraged quicker than other guys who employ other strategies? Sometimes they do. If they haven't been brought up in a way where through life they've had to face things, now all of a sudden that becomes an easy way. They look to remove the guy right away. And if they don't remove the guy, they don't have the wherewithal, the discipline to deal with the rest of the fight. Use the ring! Use the ring! Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Parries that punch intended for the head. That's up game! Be back! Good looking counter punch. Nelly ties up there. Rice is hurt by a big shot. Use the ring. Use the ring. Well, he may be in bad shape, but all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he's able to avoid punches and survive. You know, boxing is a funny business. It's a metaphor for life. You know, sometimes you have somebody outside and they don't say what they want to say. They have to have a drink. A little alcohol to start saying the things that are on their mind. Sometimes a fight is no different. You know, he gets hurt. And now all of a sudden, all his inhibitions are gone. And now he's doing all the things he's supposed to do because he's not thinking about anything. And Tony's rocked by a big shot there. What a wild round as both men have been affected. And that round comes to an end. And you know, I've turned to you many times throughout our careers broadcasting together and said, why is this guy not throwing punches? I just don't get it, Teddy. Well, there's two reasons usually. One is he's not in shape. In this case, I think he's in shape. He doesn't want to throw. I know that boggles your mind, too. What do you mean he doesn't want to throw? You think it to yourself. He's a fighter. He's in the ring. He knows that he has to throw punches. But if he throws punches, he also has to put himself in a position where the guy's going to throw back. That means he has to take more chances. And some guys would rather not take those chances. Big trains proving to be elusive. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Nice work, nice work. <laughs> big crushed by a big left. Wow! And he goes down for the first time tonight. Rice's corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you'd give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you kill some time. Tie him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round. Just get yourself back together. What an intense Take left hand by Big Train. Let's, Let's go. Tony's doing a really good job of being defensively sound, of being patient. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. Nice combination by Big Train. That was a great round we just saw, Teddy. And that, this is why I'm glad I do my job, not yours. You have to try to score that round. Yeah, I have to score this. Wow! One punch power has ended this fight. Can you believe that? There is no way he could continue on. It is 